All right, here we go again. Mitch, the uh, gosh, Mitch, the ultimate multi instrumentalist, talking about the bassoon. Uh, so now disassembling the instrument. So I just talked about disassembling the instrument. So disassembling the instrument. Um, so okay, here, here I took the bell off. First, always take the the reed and vocal off. Okay, and to protect the reed and vocal at all cost. So then after that, well, you can just take the clutch off if you want. And then I take the bass joint off first. All right, now the important part is this. So water doesn't travel up on the uh, the, the, the fatter side of the double joint to the, uh, the uh, bass joint. So this all the way down here, that's where the water collects. And what you never, ever, ever should do is take this off and go like that. Never ever ever do that. Uh, that will that will cause more harm than the uh, good. Okay. So then, uh, tenor joint probably is not that big deal. So you have swab, and I always roll up this like this because it unravels by itself without any knots. So make sure this silk part is not knotted up. Okay. If it's knotted up. There's a good chance that it's gonna jam, and well, probably hundred percent of the time, if it's knotted up, it will jam. So then, just the uh, I usually stick it in the bigger side, and then coming up from the small side, uh, a compact like that is probably more efficient to to absorb water. Now, so then, if you don't want to pull through all the way, you can always back out. So leave a little bit on this side, like that, and pull up. Uh, silk swab is made. To pull through all the way like that okay so this part is just like a you know swabbing an oboe or clarinet what's difficult is a boot joint so what I usually do is I stick the this chain into this bigger hole here and go all the way down all the way down and they come to the point that it stops Okay, so that means the chain went all the way down to right down there, okay? And then, after you do that, tilt the instrument this way, okay? So, it went in from this end, okay? And then shake it a little bit, and by that way, let the, the chain going this, I should do this, chain was probably bunched up around there and going this way. And then... You'll hear some some shuck, shuck, shuck sound, so that's a that's a chain wiggling around inside. And then if you do that, most likely the weight of the chain will pull this one. Do you see that? There you go. It comes from the other end. Yeah, it's like a, some some kind of magic trick, isn't it? And again, make sure that this is not knotted up, okay? And pull all the way through. Uh, and if you want to go like that, that's fine too. Okay, that will eliminate the, the um, possibility of jamming. But all the silk swabs are made to compact to go through there um, in the pole all the way through. Okay, now, um, particularly with the wood instrument, you should do that diligently uh, whenever you make significant amount of time, 5-10 minutes or more. Um, the uh, the cause of water settling down there and not being cleaned, not being dried, causes actual rotting of wood down there. And I've seen way too many instruments uh, being ruined that way. Uh, you could repair that, uh, kind of a, you know, cut that section off and then make another piece. But it's a pretty complicated um, procedure. Because uh, you have to still drill the tone holes and drill, you know, do this, do that. So it's it's not really easy to repair. So better not to let that section rot. Okay. So that's why swabbing is important. Now, plastic instrument will not rot. That does not mean you shouldn't swab either. Uh, because the pads will be affected by the uh, the humidity. So, so you still should... Uh, swab every time you finish. Uh, some of your instrument may have a stick type of swab 
that's not as effective, but the uh, it's still better than not doing anything at all. And with the stick type of swab, you know, you just stick it in there and kind of uh, roll around and, and uh, that's that. And so, you know, you don't have to worry about the jamming it. It's not as effective because it doesn't go all the way to the, those, you know, just curved um, pipe right here. It's, you, you know, right here, in here. So, it's not as effective, but it's it's okay. It still works. Okay. So, that's that. Uh, talking about the bassoon, Mitch the ultimate, oh gosh, Mitch the ultimate multi-instrumentalist signing off. Bye-bye.